Kimberly Page here, and I'm going to teach you how to measure for a bridesmaid dress or even a wedding dress at home. With all these virtual appointments going on, this is such a great thing to know how to do, and I hope it is helpful. So first things first, you're gonna wanna choose garments that are really close to the body. You can, of course, go ahead and measure naked if you want, but I'm just in some yoga pants and a basic swimsuit top that doesn't have any padding. It's important not to wear anything that distorts or adds extra where you don't need it, unless you're planning to wear those exact undergarments with your dress. Then you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're standing on a very flat surface, something that's hard, that you can have a nice posture with and you're also going to want to use a full length mirror. If you don't have a full length mirror, you can just use a basic like bathroom mirror, uh, but just be wary of being able to see all parts of your body when you're measuring. Okay, so you're gonna to want to use just a basic tape measure. This one is just a seamstress's tape measure and what's important is that it bends and it moves to the curve of your shape. You can't use a construction measuring tape, unfortunately. <laughs> So we're gonna get the bust, waist, and hip measurements. Those are pretty much the standard measurements you need. And I'm also gonna show you how to do a hollow to hem measurement, because that's also important for length. So first up, we're gonna take the measuring tape and use the very edge that has a one on it. And we're gonna get the bust shape first. So when you measure, you just wanna make sure that you're going as horizontal to the floor as possible. You don't want it to drop like this. Exactly. So you're gonna wanna have it almost straight across. And you're not gonna wanna push down or squeeze or anything like that. You're just gonna be flush up to your skin and you're gonna get that measurement right at the edge where the points meet in the middle. And then once you do have that measurement, you're gonna wanna write it down. <laughs> because saying that you're gonna remember it is one of the biggest lies, at least I tell myself. So I'm gonna write it down in my, ooh, thanks honey in my phone. <laughs> okay, next up we're gonna get the waist. Now this is a little bit tricky because everyone's waist sits a little bit different. Some girls have longer torsos, other people are short-waisted. So I always say when you're gonna throw sass and you put your hands on your waist, wherever that zone is, that's the measurement we kind of want to get. So again, we're gonna do the same thing, take the circumference, go all the way around, make sure that we are not dropping the measuring tape at the back and we're gonna get this measurement right at that zone, that sass zone. <laughs> okay, so we've got that one, and write that down, and now we're gonna do the hip. The hip is, I think, one of the trickier measurements because like everybody's shape is so unique, but my advice is to go around the most bodacious part um, of your hip and booty. <laughs> so wherever that nice little juicy area is, we're gonna go all the way around and get it at the widest part. And one thing you wanna make sure is you're really standing straight throughout this whole process. I probably should have said that in the beginning. You don't wanna distort or bend forward because that might manipulate the measurements a bit. So we're gonna get this all the way around, right across the booty. Okay. All right, so now that we have our bust, waist, and hip, I actually recommend doing it one more time just for consistency to see that your measurements are pretty much in the same spot. Um, if you're getting into the habit of seeing different measurements every single time, uh, you might need to just take a break and come back to it. <laughs> but those are the basic bust, waist, and hip measurements that you need. Okay, last but not least, we're going to do the hollow to hem. This one is really tough, especially if you are measuring by yourself. We're essentially getting what the length of the dress will be for you. So we always measure by the hollow to the hem. Some designers are different and go by the waist, um, but for us, we just go into this little clavicle zone here, put the measuring tape up, stand as straight as possible, and then let it fall to the ground kind of naturally, like a dress would. So try not to let there be any bends or swirls in the measuring tape. One other thing that we can do here is actually put the shoes on if you know what shoes you're gonna wear. If you don't, Still get the measurement, and then you can always measure the heel height, or at least commit to a heel height that you'll wear. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my shoes on, because these are the ones I'm gonna wear. Steve Madden, in case you're interested. Okay, so I'm gonna put these on, and then from my hollow, we're gonna let it drop all the way to the ground. 
And I always say like, you have to be really careful with this measurement because if you lean forward, you're taking off measurement. So stand as tall as you can and then just bend your head to look down. And I'm seeing, the first number I'm seeing right there is 57. Um, everyone's measurement is gonna be different, but I always say be a little more conservative here because you can always hem your dress. We can't always add length. <laughs> um, okay, so I look there, and if you even wanna try to put your foot on that, you can to look down. Okay, and I see it is, it's still 57. All right, now that we have our bust, waist, and hip measurements, as well as our hollowed hem, we should be good to go. Of course, every designer is different and there are different requirements, but those are the standards, so it's great to know how to do that. My last piece of advice, and this is super important, is to be kind to yourself when you're taking your measurements. They are just numbers. It's all about how you feel. Everyone has a beautiful shape, and you know what? I always say my body gets me places, and that's a good thing. Hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Keep in mind that there are so many fabulous moments ahead and so many celebrations to look forward to. And with that, I will leave you with keep calm, sparkle on, ladies. Shake. No. You, you don't have chicken, I'm not gonna shake. You wanna shake with me? Kisses maybe. Hi, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And be sure to check out the rest of our channel for new videos every week. Seriously, just hit the subscribe button.